But in other in other news, you know, stepping away from the these these types of streamers and going into a different type of streamer, you know, if anyone remembers Roaring Kitty, or also known as Deep Fucking Value, uh, he was a, a redditor, somebody who posts on Reddit, and a streamer. He was pretty much the driving force behind the whole GameStop thing that happened. All the stock stuff. You know, the hedge funds were trying to short GameStop. They believed it was a failing company. This guy goes on Reddit, comes up with a genius plan for retail investors to finally get a piece of the pie. Something that doesn't happen normally. You know, people don't realize that when you're a retail investor, your money is so insignificant to the price of what you're investing in. Let's say you invest in Apple. You could have you could put $100,000 worth of stock and invest that in Apple. That 100,000 that you put up has no no impact on the price of Apple at all. Because bigger hedge funds who are actually making big boy bets are actually what's influencing the price. So those, those bets that retail investors make, they go into a silent pool. And that pool is used as the liquidity that these big swings that the hedge funds make, that's where they pull the money from. So while everybody retail-wise, that's you and me, if we open a Robinhood account, something like that, when we make bets, it gets put into that pool. And then when these big guys are taking money from our losing bets, that's where they're taking it from. So your bets have no impact on the price. When you lose, you're just paying the big guys. That's all that happens. And this guy, Roaring Kitty, his name is Keith Gill. He saw that. And he, and he said, he predicted this. And at first, a lot of people on Reddit were like, you're full of shit. But then we all saw the news that happened with GameStop. These hedge funds <laughs> were chopping at the bit for people to sell their shares. So much so that Robinhood ended up shutting down the app and making it impossible to buy GameStop shares at the time. So now all these people who decided to follow suit with this guy, they all made shit tons of money. A couple of them became millionaires. This guy turned $53,000 worth of GameStop stock into $300 million. $300 million, all buying options, options on GameStop because he believed in something. Is that not insane? Uh, I mean, man, smart guy. Smart, smart guy, guy, right? Super smart. So now when, that, when all that stuff happened, the federal government ended up coming after him. They're like, oh, you're inside trading, you're market manipulating, blah, something that hedge funds do all the time and nobody bats an eye at. They want to try to come after this guy. I don't think they slapped him with much. I don't remember the ins and outs of it. But afterwards, he disappears off the internet. Nobody hears from him. People think he might have sold his, you know, he might have sold the bag, finally collected. Because, you know, your stocks go up. But mm -hmm. you're not, you're worth that amount of money on paper, but you don't have it until you sell the stock. Right. Yeah. You know, and this guy was preaching to hold because mind you, these hedge funds, excuse me, they're, they're not, they're more than likely not out of that, that short sell position because to get out of that position, all the people holding their shows have to sell. So these hedge funds have probably been bleeding money this entire time. If people have held GameStop at one time at its highest, it was worth like $400. I think at, at right in, in the more recent months, it was worth around 40, which is still not terrible for a company like GameStop. Mm -hmm. But now Roaring Kitty is rising from the ashes. He's coming back. Oh, he just came back. Actually, he he just actually today, the day of this recording, he did a, a a new live stream, and everybody was raving about it. Look at this article: Keith Gill, better known as Roaring Kitty on X and YouTube, and as Deep Fucking Value on Reddit, hosted his first live stream since the meme stock craze that took place three years ago. So now everybody 
Dude, they had, I'm telling you, because with these live streams, you can set it up to where you have like a waiting room. Everyone's waiting for the stream to start. This guy set the waiting room up like 24 hours in advance. He would have an average of like 12,000 people in there just comment, just waiting. Oh, deep fucking value. We got to hold. <laughs> we got to hold to the moon. You know? GameStop's coming back, baby. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's all this shit going on in that stream, in the stream chat room, right? So then he hosts the live stream. And, uh, doesn't, uh, you know, he, he's, he's talking. He's like, yeah, I believe in it. I believe in it. But it doesn't play out that way, ladies and gentlemen. After this clown goes on live stream, he's talking nonsense. He's drinking beers. He was known as a meme guy anyway online. So this is not necessarily new. But it kind of, people were just weirded out by the stream. People weren't feeling it. They were like, this guy sounds like he doesn't really have a game plan or anything. You know? This guy ends, and so, and mind you, all this hype of him starting the stream and, oh, I'm going to live stream, GameStop starts shooting back up. You know, everyone starts hearing the hype. They're, do, 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 do. it's going up, baby. It's mm -hmm. going up. Then he goes on the live stream. He clowns around. And what happens after? GameStop goes down by 40%. Damn, dude. God damn. This guy ends the live stream and it goes down 40%. Mind you, when he was, when all the hype was happening prior to the live stream, he made like $240,000 because during the live stream, he ends up showing his portfolio and he's still holding a sweet chunk of GameStop. Damn. A sweet chunk of it. So during all the hype, he makes like three hundred thousand dollars. They're three hundred million dollars almost from everybody being like, "Roaring Kitty's coming back," you know, dumping into this mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. wow. Which it's not bad to invest in stocks, but you gotta fucking you know pick your battles a little bit, right? Yeah. And once again, he goes on the live stream. He makes an ass out of himself. That live stream ends and. You might as well fucking call it quits on GameStop, dude. That to drop forty percent like that in such a short period, dude. Stocks average a price swing of anywhere between like two and seven percent, and seven would be a big price swing in a day. You know, to drop forty is fucking insane, dude. That is crazy, dude. To drop like that. Now check out this clip we have. This is a we have this clip of no 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 not that one. I'm sorry. This is in the the show notes. That one's from YouTube. It's probably got some commentary bullshit on it. Yeah. So check out this clip we have here. You'll see this guy because they reported him on the news. They were like, "Oh, Roaring Katie's coming back." Even the news, the 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 mainstream news was covering this guy. And boy, was it not pretty. Well, we're coming back with breaking news because the live stream has finally started. You can see that right there. Look at this fucking About guy. 28 or so minutes late, <laughs> but nonetheless, it is underway. Um, and we'll see exactly <laughs> what, what's going to happen there. Andrew Left still standing by. We'll give you updates when they happen. Uh, That's real. You judge for yourself what's going on on your screen. So let's do some of these moves. Uh, Amazon, you bought more. Yo, that was a real video, dude. <laughs> you seen how dope daddy looked? Look at the first comment. Look at the most popular comment. Look at the fucking face. <laughs> All the GameStop money's going to his head. And mind you, I didn't watch the whole stream, but it didn't start out with him in an arm sling. So... Where the arm sling came from is beyond me, dude. <laughs> this is the people, this is the guy that hundreds of thousands of people are trusting in to make this GameStop swing. And he has no fucking plan. He's got stickers on his face. He's got his portfolio in the background. He, you see the GameStop plummeting. He knows it. He knows it. And you know what's funny is 
there's all everybody's gonna be hyped and behind this guy and when when the big guys up top fucking pull the rug on this thing because they'll inevitably win they'll get bailed out a million different times whatever the situation is we all know the government comes bail out another one another bail out another one another bail out another one it's always gonna happen they're always gonna win so when it inevitably happens these guys are just going to be on a golf course like, well, we wish them well, you know. Four, you know what I mean? They're, <laughs> they're not going to give a fuck. And he might make good on it because he was the one who started the trend. You got to be the first one there to get out on top, folks. You got to be the first one there, you know. But I, I just wanted to talk about that because it, it was big news. It was hot for a couple days for all those meme people out there that are just trading off of uh, news on Twitter and shit. So I, I think that's going to be good on current events. You know what I mean? Like a, a lot of these, a lot of these people, they're taking these words of wisdom from Roy and Kitty, and it's obviously not paying off. Forty percent in a day is a lot of cash to lose, folks. <laughs> And hold my fart like a bong rip.